Hello, everyone. Welcome to the course of Water Pollution Control Technology. I am your lecturer, Lu Xiaoneng. Today, we will learn about the urban drainage network system and main structures. Section 1. Composition of drainage pipes and canals. Generally, the drainage pipe consists of seven parts, namely, 1. Sewage collection facilities and indoor drainage pipes. 2. Drainage pipe. 3. Ancillary structures. 4. Drainage regulating pool. 5. Lifting pump station and pressure pipeline. 6. Sewage pipes and canals. 7. Water outlet and accident outlet. Section 2. Hydraulic Parameters of Drainage Canal First, the hydraulic design principle of drainage canal. There are four principles. First, without overflow, determine the design flow value according to the maximum flow. Second, do not silt and specify the lowest limit of flow rate. Third, do not scour the pipe wall and specify the maximum limit of flow rate. Fourth, Pay attention to the principle of ventilation and dissatisfaction with flow. Second, hydraulic calculation of hydraulic pipe canal. According to the principle of hydraulics, the hydraulic calculation of sewage is calculated according to the uniform flow path of open channel. First, the flow formula Q equals A times V. According to the velocity formula versus equals C, multiplied by the root sign R times I. According to Xie Kai's formula, C is equal to one part of N times the one-sixth power of R. Then combine the above three formulas. Yes, Q equals A times V, equal to one part of N times A, times two-thirds of R, and then times one-half of I, where Q represents the flow rate in cubic meters per second. A represents the area of water crossing section, and the unit is square meters. V represents the flow rate in meters per second. R stands for hydraulic radius, refers to the ratio of the cross-section area across water to the wet circumference in meters. I stands for hydraulic gradient. C stands for velocity coefficient or Xie Kai coefficient. Section 3. Structures on drainage pipes and canals. The first is the inspection well. The function of check and is set for checking, clearing, and connecting channels. The utility model comprises a well base, a well bottom, a well bore, a well cover, and a cover seat. The schematic diagram is shown in the figure. Among them, 1. Well base. It is composed of crushed stone, pebble, crushed brick compacted or low-grade concrete. The bottom hole material is composed of low-grade concrete. Design requirements. Usually designed as semicircular or arc runner. The shaft material consists of brick, stone, concrete or reinforced concrete. The plane shape is usually designed to be cylindrical with straight arms. 3. Manhole cover. There are light cast iron manhole cover and light reinforced concrete manhole cover. Fig. 1 shows light cast iron manhole cover and cover seat. Fig. 2 shows light reinforced concrete manhole cover and cover seat. Second, the falling well, when there is a large gap between upstream and downstream ditches, usually more than one meter, the general manhole is no longer applicable. Usually, drop well connection is used instead. Falling wells are inspection wells with energy dissipation facilities. It can overcome the huge impact force when the water flow falls. It should be located on the straight ditch section. The forms of inspection wells include vertical pipe type and step type. Fig. 1 is a cross-sectional view of a vertical pipe falling well. Fig. 2 is a schematic diagram of a stepped falling well. Third, rainwater well. First, the rainwater inlet is a structure that collects ground rainwater on the rainwater channel or river channel. Second, set the position. It is usually necessary to ensure that the surface rainwater can be collected quickly and effectively. Third, 
the form and quantity of rain outlets. It should be determined according to the net flow generated in the catchment area and the discharge capacity of the rainwater inlet. Fourth, the composition of the rain mouth. The utility model comprises a water inlet grate, a well bore, and a connecting pipe. Versus form. There are three forms. Side ditch rainwater inlet, side stone rainwater inlet, and combined rainwater inlet. Six. The rain mouth is divided into two types, falling bottom and not falling bottom. 7. Connected to the same connecting pipe rain mouth should not exceed 3. Fig. 1 is a cross-sectional view of the side ditch rainwater outlet. Fig. 2 is a cross-sectional view of the side stone rainwater mouth. IV. Overflow well. At the junction of river channel and closure channel, overflow wells will be set up to complete the functions of interception and overflow, versus water sealed well. When industrial wastewater contains flammable volatile substances, explosive gas will be generated in its channel space. To prevent this gas from entering the workshop, water seal shall be set in the inspection well connecting the inner and outer ditch sections of the workshop. This kind of manhole is called water seal well. V. Flushing wells. When the flow rate of sewage in the channel cannot guarantee self-cleaning, flushing wells can be set up to prevent siltation. There are two types of flushing wells. It is divided into manual flushing and automatic flushing. Applicable conditions. Generally smaller channels with pipe diameter less than 400 millimeters. The length of flushing channel is generally about 250 meters. 7. Inverted siphon. The inverted siphon consists of a water inlet well, a ditch pipe and a water outlet well. It is divided into straight pipe type and folded pipe type. 1. Relevant setting requirements of inverted siphon. First, it is required to pass through obstacles. Secondly, the inverted siphons passing through the river channel should be laid in the stable section of riverbed or riverbank, which is not easy to be washed away and the part with small deep burial. Third, the vertical distance between the pipe top and the riverbed is generally not less than 0.5 meters. Fourth, no less than two pipelines. Second, Measures to prevent sludge deposition in inverted siphon. First, increase the design velocity in the inverted siphon, which is generally 1.2 minus 1.5 meters per second. Second, the minimum pipe diameter is 200 millimeters. Third, set up facilities in the inlet wells that can be flushed by river water. Fourthly, an accident discharge outlet is arranged in the water inlet well or the inspection well near the upstream channel of the water inlet well. Fifthly, a sedimentation tank is arranged at the bottom of the inspection well near the water inlet well in the upstream channel. Sixth, the angle between the riser and the horizontal level of the folded inverted siphon should not be greater than 30 degrees. Seventh, a gate or slot should be set in the inlet well. Eighth, an anti-sinking device is arranged in the siphon. Eighth, the water outlet. First, the location requirements of the water outlet. It is generally located on the shore, and the outlet of the drainage channel is generally submerged. Second, if the sewage and water flow need to be fully mixed, the water outlet can extend into the water dispersion outlet for a long distance. Third, the outlet of the rainwater channel should be exposed above the water surface. Figure 1 shows a word outlet. Figure 2 shows the splayed outlet. Section 4. Drainage Pumping Station. I. Classification of pumping stations. First, classify from the function. Sewage pumping station, rainwater pumping station, and confluence pumping station. Second, classify from the location. 
It is divided into midway pumping station and terminal pumping station. Midway pumping station to lift upstream incoming water into downstream channel. The terminal pumping station is the terminal of the main trunk ditch, which discharges wastewater into the water body or sends wastewater to the sewage plant. Second, the composition of pumping station. It is usually composed of grid, water collecting pool, water pump room, auxiliary room and auxiliary substation. Third, the drainage form of pumping station. It is divided into combined drainage pumping station and separate drainage pumping station. That's the end of the lesson. Thank you all.